Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video. This footage you're about to see was recorded during the early access event, so thank you to Wizards of the Coast for inviting me to participate to preview the new March of the Machine expansion. And today we're taking a look at the Grixis combo deck built around Hidetsugu and Kairi. The 5 mana 5 4 legendary ogre demon dragon has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, we get to brainstorm, we get to draw 3 cards and then put 2 cards from our hand on top of our library in any order. And then when Hidetsugu and Kairi dies, we exile the top card of our library, and then target opponent loses life equal to its mana value, and if it also happens to be an instant or sorcery card, we may cast it without paying its mana cost. So what's our game plan? Our plan is to cast Hidetsugu and then brainstorm Explosive Singularity to the top of our deck. The 10 mana sorcery will deal 10 damage if we reveal it with Hidetsugu and Kairi, and then we also get to cast it for free, dealing an additional 10 damage to any target. So if you're keeping track, that's 20 damage, which is often enough to kill the opponent on the spot, and we can do so as early as turn 5 in this deck, thanks to big score making extra treasures, can also help find our missing combo pieces, and then with those extra treasures we can on turn 5 play Hidetsugu, and have the leftover mana to kill our own creature to essentially trigger it and win the game, but sometimes we can also count on the opponent's cooperation to kill our creature. And then our backup plan, in case Hidetsu Genkairi doesn't work out, involves Chandra, Hope's Beacon. The 6 mana Planeswalker has a passive ability, saying whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, we get to copy it and choose new targets for the copy. This only triggers once each turn. And then we can use the plus 2 ability to add 2 mana in any combination of colors. The plus 1 can maybe provide a bit of card advantage by finding an instant or sorcery in the top 5, and then we can cast it until our next turn. And then a minus X gives us a very solid removal removal effect, dealing X damage to each of up to two targets, so that can target anything, including opposing creatures or planeswalkers, and that can often stabilize the board nicely, so we can eventually take over by doubling some of our Carter effects. Of course, Chandra very nice doubling a big score, or doubling something like an impulse to look at the top four cards and put one in hand to find our missing pieces, but we can also double our explosive singularity if we have enough mana to cast it, and with the two extra mana from Chandra that's not too difficult, and then we can and once again deal 20 damage out of nowhere. And then the rest of our deck also includes a tutor effect to help find the missing combo pieces, and Bargain will first exile the top 13 cards of our library to then let us search the rest of our library for any card and put it into our hand. So there is a little bit of danger here if we manage to exile all four copies of one of our combo pieces, then we can no longer search it up. So typically don't want to copy Bargain too many times with Chandra, otherwise we risk exiling our entire library. Then we have some interaction as well, including four copies of Voltage Surge, which is also quite useful alongside the treasures from Big Score to potentially deal four damage, which is a way of killing our own Hidetsugu and Kairi on turn five. Then we also have two copies of Volcanic Spite, which can also potentially put a card from our hand on the bottom of our library, and then we get to draw another way of giving us a bit of card selection. And also very nice to copy with Chandra after making two mana, we can still cast a Spite, so we can keep the loyalty of our Planeswalker high, and then maybe start minusing on the following turn. And then we also have two copies of Go for the Throat, another removal spell that's capable of killing our own creature. And then Make Disappear as a counter spell can also be cast with Casualty. So in a pinch we can always sacrifice our own creature to Casualty to set up the kill. And then at 3 mana we also have two copies of Brotherhood's End as a sweeper. Sometimes we need to search it up with our tutor effect to stabilize the board if we don't have enough mana for Chandra. And uh, yeah, that uh, pretty much covers all of it, big score, and then all our win conditions here. And then a mana base only has 24 lands, could easily see going up to 26, but we do have quite a bit of card draw as well to help hit our land drops if necessary. And then we've got uh, plenty of mana fixing with Xander's Lounge, a nice mix of fast lands and the Innistrad duels, and then a few channel lands for added interaction although usually won't be channeling them since we're busy casting other spells. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with a keepable hand. Double impulse to get our mana sorted and then bargain to try and find Hidatsugu and Kairi. Opponent with red-black. And 
and Chandra is tempting. Or we can just grab the black mana and cast Bargain. And then we'll be shields down to make disappear for a turn. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll still need to find a way to kill our own Hidetsugu, potentially. Can have a look at the exiled cards. Okay, Fable on three. That's always a good one. Back up Hidetsugu. So I could Impulse, try and find a removal spell. If we don't, I can still keep up Make Disappear. Although, I kind of want to play this on five. So maybe it is worth it to just pass with Make Disappear up. Now let's see if we can find a Voltage Surge or something similar. Prevent the Shaman from getting out of hand. And then I could try and go for it next turn and hope they take it out. A red black's probably going to be holding some removal here. Yeah, since we have a backup, that's probably fine. They could kill it in response to the trigger, but then we'll still get to brainstorm. That point's going to big score in response, discarding some interesting cards. All right, let's put double Singularity on top. And then I could make Disappear to counter my own spell, sacrificing Hidetsugu in the process. So if they kill it, they're dead. If they let me untap, they should be dead. All right, Invoke Despair. Here's a present for you. 10 damage, and another 10 damage. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, our hand seems keepable. Got some early removal, and then double bargain to assemble the combo pieces. Uh, let's see what we're up against, Inquisitor. Okay, I think I'm okay taking that out. And then we'll keep up Volcanic Spite. Already have Singularity, so just need to hit our land drops and then find Hidetsugu and Kairi. So do we bargain for land here? Or do we just get our 5 drop? And then we just need to hit land drops with the spite and the remaining bargains. We won't be able to play too many demonic bargains, otherwise we're going to run out of cards. Sensor, okay. And land is excellent, so... How about we... Go for the throat sensor. I guess once it's dead, we can still spite. So I can just pass here. Can maybe keep go for the throat to kill our own Hidetsugu. So the plan is spite, ditching a bargain. Okay, soul partition. Means we won't be able to discard and draw. Opponent replace sensor. Alright, let's uh, wipe the board then. Internal Wanderer is fine. Another Brotherhood end. So we could bargain to get a land here, which may be fine. And then, I guess we may as well get a black source. Although, prefer to keep this again to kill our own creature if possible. 
we'll take four. We can win this together. Could always try and buy more time with Brother at end if we don't want to go for it. There's another go for the throat. Yeah, maybe it's fine to just stall and then make sure there's no instant speed interaction to mess things up. If I would have the mana to play Hidatsugu and go for the throat in the same turn, we can pretty much guarantee the combo unless there's instant speed removal. Okay, opponent running out sentry. That one we cannot go for the throat, but the samurai we can. Opponent's down to one card in hand. Alright, I think it's go time. Singularity on top, alongside maybe a mountain here. And then we'll put an upkeep stop to go for the throat before drawing Singularity. Sensor's fine. Or is it? I guess sensor means I wouldn't be able to go for the throat and cast Singularity for free. Okay, opponent exiled our creature, so... I guess we'll kill Sensor. And then we'll get Kairi back. And we'll need to find another instant speed removal spell pretty much. So I can bargain for it, so that then I won't have very many cards left, so that seems a bit sketchy. So I can impulse instead. Voltage Surge would do it if I had a treasure, which I don't. So do we grab a counter spell then? Wouldn't be able to keep it up as a problem. So I guess Voltage Surge it is. Could also hang on to Crucible to make some tokens, but let's try it this way. We get to Brainstorm again. Put two Singularities back. And then playing another copy would uh, kill them to the legendary rule, but our opponent's going to keep on flickering. That's fine. Have a nice trip. And another sentry. All right. So now we can replay it, and then when the other Hidatsugu comes back, we can uh, sacrifice it to the legendary rule, and that should be game. Ten damage, and another ten damage. Sweet. Twenty damage out of nowhere. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Our hands missing a color. And, uh, yeah, could definitely use a few more lands, but with the spites, we can always uh, dig a bit deeper, and then big score could be quite useful. So, just play a tapped coast for now. So we can definitely get rid of a Voltage Surge here with the Spite. And Gweno's a perfect target. There's our Black. And a Chandra. So we will be able to eventually big score into Chandra. Scrap Gorger's fine. And there's Hidatsugu, perfect. So if I can hit my land drops, we could already win next turn. Since big score gives us the mana to Voltage Surge Hidatsugu after casting it. Opponent's got Yargle and Multani, that's kind of scary. 18-6. So Voltage Surge can go. No land. And there's a land. Okay, I think that does it. Play Hidatsugu, 
Singularity on top, sack a treasure to cast a surge and another one to target Hidatsugu. A nice turn 5 kill. Sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, and we've got uh, two combo pieces, just need to hit our land drops. So we'll give it a shot. Opponent on black-white. Maybe a Phyrexian Sacrifice deck. So we'll keep up, go for the throats. And let's just take out the Pilgrim. Don't want my opponent going above 20, because that's going to make it harder to combo. And then make the Spear could be a sacrifice outlet for our own creature, potentially. Although I may need to counter something here. Take two. And we can impulse. What do we like? Probably just a shipwreck marsh. Okay, I can uh, pass. Don't have any instance, I guess, to combine with Make Disappear as a sack outlet. Could Dark Bargain and get a one mana instance. Maybe that's the way to go. Get a Voltage Surge. Which I could technically cast right now, but I'm more interested in getting a removal spell for my own Hidetsugu. Take two. And a hive. That could eventually gain the opponent some life back. Alright, so do we go for it, even though our opponent might be holding some instant speed removal? I think so. Singularity on top, and a bargain can go. And then we'll set an upkeep stop, so we can potentially kill our own creature. So our opponent's at 19. Invasion. That exiles our creature. Hmm, that's unfortunate, so we don't get to trigger and reveal the top card. And our opponent can transform it right away. Alright, that was a setback. So we need to find a backup Hidatsugu. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll draw. Thirty-one cards remaining. I could bargain here. And then still Volcanic Spite afterwards. Luckily there's one left. Seventeen cards remaining. So we better make this count. Elish Norn. Okay, that one we won't be able to counter necessarily. Volcanic Spites kills Krelv is an option. And get rid of a big score maybe at this point. And our opponent stepped out with another Skrelv, okay. So, yeah, we can play another copy. Put back Singularity. And then I've got the upkeep counter spell to sacrifice our creature. 
And if we manage to trade here, or if they kill Hidetsugu, we also have lethal. So another exile effect of the top could ruin our day. And butcher. Okay. Opponent attacks all out, giving menace, and yeah, that's lethal. That's too bad. Another butcher got the job done. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand seems keepable. Double impulse to try and find singularity as well as a bargain. And then we just need to hit our land drops. Put onto red green. So now we're on the lookout for maybe some more interaction to play early as well, so we can survive until we set up the combo. And we'll grab a spite. Alright, I guess we'll tap out for bargain. Get Singularity. Could also go for Chandra, which we can ramp out with a big score, but eventually we want to get the Singularity. Fable. That can be taken care of. Good big score. And then still play like a Voltage Surge. Although keeping Voltage Surge with a treasure to kill our own Hidetsugu could be nice as well. So yeah, maybe we let them hit us and then big score end of turn. And then next turn I can untap Hidetsugu and Voltage Surge and just win the game on the spot. So as long as they don't gain life, we should be fine. Instant speed removal in response to the brainstorm trigger could also mess things up potentially. Opponent keeps up all their mana, that's not a good sign. So maybe get rid of impulse or the volcanic spite. In case we need to find another Hidetsugu. If things go south, there's another one. Okay. So we'd need to play an untapped land here to play Hidetsugu and then have a mana for Surge and an artifact to sacrifice. Alright, opponent's got a Spite and Response. So we're just gonna have to try again next turn. And another Spite. Alright, still get to trigger Blind so there might be a Singularity on top for all we know. Alright, just a land. And then we get to brainstorm. Okay. So it doesn't feel like our opponent's got too many more instant speed removal spells to mess up our combo, but you never know. Now we also have the protection of a Make Disappear, potentially. Could also just pivot and play Chandra to wipe the board. And then resume next turn with the combo. So the board doesn't get out of control if her opponent does have more interaction. Could double Impulse right now if I'd like. Can still do it in the opponent's turn, I suppose. Opponent's got a big score, which if I make disappear, I can force them to sack the treasure tokens. Probably no points. And our opponent's gonna sack a bunch of treasure to make a 1 1. That's fine. So, not entirely sure what our opponent's game plan is. We see Luca, we see Fable. Chaotic Transformation, I see. Well, that one seems worth countering. Get to double make disappear, so sacking the treasures is not going to suffice. And then by doubling Voltage Surge with Chandra, we can still 
uh, kill our own Hidatsugu right now. So that should do it. Singularity on top. And double surge. Could also still add mana with Chandra to cast Impulse at some point. And yeah, her opponent knows what's incoming. They must have faced this deck before. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Our hand seems functional. Missing Singularity, but we've got functional mana, good interaction, and a big score to go digging. Opponent on Jund. A Loam Speaker. I cannot Voltage Surge. Good Brother at end. Yeah, it's a little bit drastic. But it will slow them down, and then I can keep go for the throat for my own Hidatsugu potentially. Can be a Tyvar, which can get back the Loam Speaker potentially. So Voltage Surge could finish off Tyvar. I could big score. And then not even sure what I wanna discard here. Could be a Make Disappear. And then still use a treasure to cast a Voltage Surge, kill Tyvar, take it from there. Since Make Disappear is gonna lose value quickly with the uh, Loam Speaker making mana. Did not find a land. So if I Voltage Surge, I may not be able to play Chandra, but I think we do want to take out Tyvar here. This was an unlikely outcome. And then with a land I could play Chandra, but we'll see. Okay, it's going to be a Vraskan next. Chandra could also damage Planeswalkers here. Although it would be basically a trade for the opponent's two permanents. Found a land, but it's tapped. Kinda down to try this. No singularity. Do I put a Chandra on top to deal six damage? Maybe worth it. Maybe less likely to want to go for the throats. They turn it into a treasure. So we still have the ability to sack it. And then Voltage Surge. Invasion of Chandelar. Can get back all will be one and Tyvar. I guess that happens. So I could upkeep, cast an impulse, but better to Chandra and then impulse afterwards. So now if we were to sacrifice a treasure, it's no longer going to reveal the top card to deal damage. So we'll need to find another Hidatsugu at some point. And then I could still double Voltage Surge, sacking Hidatsugu potentially. So we'll make some mana here. Could grab a Singularity and then try to double it with Chandra to win the game. We have 6, 7, 8, 9 mana, so we're getting close. And then another Hidatsugu, I guess, could do it as well. Alright, so we'll pass it back. Got a few different avenues to victory. All will be one good with Vraska, adding counters to permanence. Suppose I could have double Voltage Surged thanks to Chandra doubling it to take out Vraska. But I might need this to kill Hidatsugu. One damage to Chandra, that's fine. So I guess we'll sack the treasure here. Play Hidatsugu. Singularity to the top. 
then Voltage Surge times two thanks to Chandra. Could also minus Chandra if we'd like. And that's 20 damage to the face. Sweet. All right, so we get to see our Grixis combo deck in action. And pretty impressed by the consistency of the combo. Seems like we can assemble the two combo pieces quite often. Sometimes the opponent does have some interaction to mess things up. And then uh, the game might drag out a little bit. But at least we have a backup plan of Chandra hard casting Singularity for 20 damage. So that can also help out in the case of instant speed removal for Hidetsugu and Kairi. And then of course we still have a nice control game plan of dealing with early creatures and taking over with card advantage. Which can sometimes be good enough in some matchups. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.